welcome to this video and happy 2020 i didn't get to say that in my last video so i'm saying it now today as you can tell from the title i'm going to be filming a video that i got a couple of requests to do a couple months ago and if you don't know i just recently moved i of course have a new room and when i moved you guys seen snippets of my room and from then till now you kind of have seen more snippets so i just thought it was appropriate to finally film a room tour now i'm really indecisive when it comes to my room and like how i want things so i am not fully finished i still have some things i want to put up on my wall but once i'm finally happy with the way my walls are and how everything is set up then i will probably update you guys on like snapchat or something by the way how was your new year's eve let me know in the comments down below i am so excited for this new year let me tell you i've just been saying it non-stop i'm so ready to get my life together and start to just be more independent i'm getting my license this year i don't know if i'll be getting a car because the funds you know i do want to get my license and at least have that anyways i'm going off topic if you guys want to see my updated room tour go ahead and keep on watching but before i begin if anybody wants to follow me on any social media accounts have them set up here and they will also be in the description box as well go ahead and follow your girl i'm just saying and without further ado let's just jump in to this room tour okay so this is the view of my room from the door right next to my door i have my bed that's pretty basic we'll get to that last over here i have this hamper that i have some extra blankets in and i also use this for clean clothes i have my dirty hamper in my closet but next to that if you guys remember from my old room i had my tv on this now i kind of just have it as a regular shelving unit type thing on top i have my little buddha statue surrounding my buddha boot are all of my crystals that i use to cleanse and i have some palo santo here some incense here um this is kind of where i keep everything i also keep some ground black pepper because if you can't already tell i don't have a nightstand so i kind of use this as a partial nightstand as well pure ground black pepper is actually good for anxiety apparently if you take some good inhales it will help ease your anxiety which actually it has helped so this next shelf down here i just have a picture of my godfather and i some decor this is my corsage i believe it's called a corsage from my prom and then i have another little decor piece here a little owl down here i have some extra palo santo sticks and then some books that i need to continue reading a lot of these books i've started and have not finished reading so that is another goal of mine this year is to read more and then down here i know this looks so nasty it's clean because it's painted white it gets it looks dirty very very easily it's one of those like little hollow book thingies but inside i just keep some tampons and my old phone case right above here i have this mirror that my mom actually gave me and it's kind of in the shape of a sun which i think is so pretty because it kind of resembles my tattoo because of the little like swirl thingies i was able to stick pictures in there and like they would stay put and not move down here i just keep my other chanclas these are my house chanclas now this is my vanity this is the same vanity i had in my other room i did not get rid of it if anything i need to add more drawers because i'm running out of space these little drawers here i got off a website that i cannot remember but i believe you can get these off amazon as well they're just muji drawers this mirror I purchased from Marshalls last year, I believe, and it's not my favorite. Like, if you can't tell, it doesn't really angle. It kind of just stays in the same spot, so I have to keep it elevated and, like, up at a certain height so that I can see myself because if I use it down here, I can't, I can't do my makeup because, like, I need it to be angled. This is a pretty mirror and all, but it's just not all that helpful when I'm trying to do my makeup. Here, I just have a little note for myself whenever I do my nails. Next to my mirror, I just have this little turtle cup thing, and I keep little stuff. So, my tweezers, boolie, and then a lip gloss that I use on daily. So these products here never really stay the same besides this one, and that's just because I use this all the time, but... I'll like switch this out every now and then. Over here, I just have this Dr. Till's moisturizing body oil. This is Lewis's cologne. On top of this little wooden slab here that I got from TJ Maxx, I just keep products that I've been using. This is a dry bar prep rally. 
Detangler. This is Garnier Fruity's Marvelous Oil Hair Elixir. And then these two products here were actually gifted to me from a cousin. I don't even know why this is in here, but this is an old brush I need to throw away. And then this is my face mask brush. Next to that, I have this little mini shelving thing that I got from the thrift store, I believe. Up top, I keep some Vaseline. And next to that, I have two nude Sally Henson nail polishes that I've been switching back and forth. And if anyone is wondering, these are the two shade names. They are Renewed and Couples Massage. The next shelf, I just have my extra glasses and some perfume. Below that, I have my contacts. These are from the brand Divine Eye Candy. Next to that, I have some old perfume that I just don't want to throw away because the bottle is really pretty. And then I have an edible here, which I'm not going to show. Down here, I have another candle that I don't burn often, but I keep it there. And then I have this little, well, it's not little, it's like super freaking heavy, but this ashtray that I got from the secondhand store that is very, very thick. I keep all of my hoops in here. As you can see, I am a fan of hoops. Moving up, I have this shelf. Have all of my necklaces hanging here. Up here, I have some bracelets and watches that I don't really wear often. And then this is a purchase from Sephora that I need to return. This art decor is from Carson's. My mom bought it for me before they went out of business. My entire vanity table is from Ikea. In the first drawer here, I have majority of my makeup. The second drawer is where I keep all of my eyeshadow palettes and eyelashes. In the third drawer, I have all of my skincare products. It needs to be cleaned out. And you know what's funny? I don't even use everything that's in that drawer, so I should really go through it. I feel like as you go down, my drawers get worse and worse, especially my hair drawer. It's just one big mess. Everything kind of made sense at one point, but like, I just, I think I need a whole separate... Like, these drawers aren't, they're not all that. I try organizing them, but it's just, because it's like constantly opening and closing, everything shifts and moves all the time. Maybe I need some separators or some dividers or something, but these are, <laughs> these are all of my uh, headbands and shower caps and whatnot. This is my favorite shower cap, by the way. Got it from Marshalls. So that's my hair drawer. And then down here is my miscellaneous drawer where I keep all types of stuff basically and although i'm not in school anymore i keep my book bag on my chair next to my vanity i have this little cart and it has wheels so it moves around i painted this white a while ago but it wasn't in my room so when we moved i took it back and started using it up top i have some hair accessories i have some scrunchies here and then some barrettes this is my makeup travel case i keep all of my makeup brushes in here so they don't get dirty being displayed i keep them in here and i keep any makeup that i'm traveling with if i'm going to lewis's house or wherever i'm going i keep that all in there An old friend of mine gave this to me but it is from amazon and then down here, I have more hair stuff. This is my Foxy Bay curling wand. Shout out, Foxy Bay. But I have more hair tools in here. My straighteners in here. My other curling wands in here. My heat protectors are in there. And then down here, I keep more random stuff. But I also keep my projector in here. Louis got me a projector for Christmas. I will actually show you how I hook it up. Because I sit it on top of this. I have to, like, rig it to make it work. But... It works. From the brand Vankyo, he got it off of Amazon. I'll insert a clip of how it looks and how I have it set up and all that. This is something that I've been trying to get my hands on for a really long time, but you know, Christmas and all that. So I was actually gonna get this for myself sometime this year. So if you move to your right, here we have my beautiful standing floor plant. Yes, it is fake. Yes, I am a fraud. Apparently I still have the tag on it, which is awesome. I got it from at home, it was about 50 bucks. And I don't know if that's a good price or a bad price because I don't know how much big plants like this, well, floor plants, faux floor plants at that. I don't know how much they run for, but, and I have it on top of this little wicker basket type thing that I keep other old stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff that like, you know how like when you finally go through it, you're like, wow, you forget what's in there. Yeah, that's that type of stuff is in there, you know? And in this little corner here, I keep my yoga mat and normally I will lay it out here and do my yoga here. On the wall, I have this James Dean poster. I don't exactly know where I got this from, but I've had it for a very, very long time. I've had it for like 10 years or so. So the door to my closet is actually just one big mirror. Well, a mirror that's kind of split in half, but nonetheless, 
still a mirror. I will show you the inside of my closet, but it is a hot mess, so we're just not gonna get into that right now. This is my everyday purse. Sometimes I'll leave it here, sometimes I'll hang it on my on the back of my door, but for now I have it here. And this is a new thing I've been doing. I've been putting little sticky notes around to remind myself anything I wanna remind myself for the week. I love this mirror so, so, so much. Oh my God, this is like my favorite part of the room. Love this mirror here. I think it's so pretty. I've never had mirror doors or anything along those lines. So the fact that this is a door and a mirror is like so cool to me. This string here turns on my closet light. Next to my mirror down here, I keep my gym stuff. So this is my gym bag, my sweet sweat, my band, my resistance bands, my ankle weights, all of that is all in there. And then the shoes I'm wearing to the gym, I'll leave right here as well. So everything is kind of right here, ready to go. And then I leave my water bottle for the gym right here. So I remember to fill it up because if I leave it in the kitchen, I'll forget it in the cabinet. But here just reminds me that it's there and that I need to fill it up. Here's my TV, obviously, just a regular TV. I don't know what kind of TV it is, but I know that it's a TV and it works. Up here, Lewis hates this because he's always like trying to watch TV and I have to take him down whenever he's watching TV. But these are my old headphones that Lewis actually gave me and my other ones I keep in my gym bag. I used to have some candles over on this side right here, but I moved them because I didn't really like how close the candles were to the TV. I don't know, it kind of like scared me a little bit. Over here, I just have this oil diffuser that also is a little nightlight, so that's always cool. So this is my little dresser. At the first drawer, I just have my bras, socks, undies. In the second drawer, I have all of my jammies. So I have my pajama shirts rolled up and then my shorts and pajama pants all on this side. In the bottom drawer down here, I have my gym clothes. The drawer is actually split in half, so on this side, I have joggers. Above my TV, I have this shelf. Tejan always makes fun of me because I have this Michael Kors bag up here for show, but I never wear it. But I told him this is to remind myself to wear it because it's out in the open and I have literally no excuse to not wear it because it's always out in the open and I like, I can see it, so why not wear it? Next to my purse, I have... <laughs> Don't make fun of me. I have this empty bottle of Doucet that we just finished, I think, last weekend because we were celebrating my birthday. By the way, if you guys don't know, my birthday is January 16th. Gang, gang. Moving on, I have this. I'm growing my own plant, if that makes sense. So I cut off pieces of my Dracaena and stuck it into this little mason jar, filled it up with water, and roots have been starting to grow. At first, nothing was happening, so I thought that, like, it was just a fail. But apparently Dracaenas, if you just stick them in water, they can just start growing their own plants. So I've been starting another plant over here. But next to that, I have another empty bottle. This is a uh, Remy Martin. This was from, I believe, last year. I don't know if I mentioned, but my closet has this opening at the top. Up there, I just keep this salt lamp that does not work at all. But I just have it there because it looks cool. On this side, I just have a fake succulent plant and then another little turtle cup that I think I'm just using for decor because I have nothing in it. By the way, yes, I know that little area needs to be painted. I'm probably not gonna paint it because no one ever really complains about it. I sure don't, so out of sight, out of mind. This picture here on my wall is actually, <laughs> this is hilarious. So when I was younger, I drew this little ghost for like my own little DIY Halloween decorations in my sister's house. This was like a very long time ago. And we put it up in her house and it was never taken down. Like, no one remembered to take it down. And then, like, over the years, we realized that it was still up on the wall. But, like, at that point, no one wanted to take it down because we're like, it's already been up for so long. So, all the way up until she moved, this was up in her house. So, I framed it because this is, like, the famous ghost that a lot of my family members or my immediate family members know about. Moving on, I have my desk here. This is where the magic happens. This is where I do all my editing, I study, I cry, everything's all here. So I guess we'll start with this side. This book actually was given to me by Tejan. It's a Tupac biography book. Once I get my own place though, this is definitely gonna be used as a table book for sure. On top of it, I have another warm tobacco pipe candle. This is a little fake succulent that I got from Michaels. Some post-it notes. I keep all of my pens, pencils, and color pencils in here whenever I want to color or write. 
by the way yes i do color i will get to that in a second this wine bottle was given to me by my cousin last year for my 21st birthday it was a bottle of Stella Rosa, which is now my new favorite wine. And then around it, I have this little necklace that Tejan gave me in high school. I also keep my laptop on my desk, obviously. Whenever I'm not using it, I have it this way. And whenever I am using it, I normally have it in this little corner here. But right now, I'm just letting it charge, so I keep it here. I have my portable speaker here, and then my headphones. I've also been studying to get my license, so I have my driver's license notes, all that here. And then I have this lamp here that I will turn on when it is late and I'm working at my desk. Underneath my desk, I have my fan, which I will normally sit on top of my desk when I'm sleeping because it gets kind of hot in my room. And then I have this little storage container, which I keep. This is just something for my birthday, but this is where I keep my planners, some other stuff. My coloring book in here, which I will use for anxiety purposes and then some other things that don't really have much of a home so I keep everything there. Okay, so my camera's gonna die so I'm gonna try to speed it up but on this wall I have some artwork that my ex-brother-in-law gave me. This is something that he made and then this is something he gave me for Christmas one year which is Star Wars related. Not that I'm not a fan, I just don't watch Star Wars but he gifted it to me so I put it up. Now for my window, I don't have anything too much to talk about besides my plants. Now, if the lighting acts right, you'll be able to see them. These are my two Dracenas that I was talking about earlier. I just keep them hooked to my curtain rod because that's the most convenient place to hook them. I have a tendency of freaking out thinking I'm gonna overwater them when in fact I'm actually doing the opposite and I'm not watering them enough. Please don't call me a plant killer. I'm still learning and I'm still getting the hang of this. And then my curtain is from Family Dollar. I just have it pulled to the side using this hair clip. On my window ledge, I don't really have much. This here is just a little Eiffel Tower souvenir that my mother-in-law brought back for me when she went to Paris. I keep my remote here, an extra candle, and then this is actually the book that I've been reading. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I'll often like post pictures of the pages that I'm reading for you guys to read as well that I think is really inspiring. This is the book that it's from. I often get questions asking, what book is it so if anyone's wondering this is the book or if you don't follow me on instagram and you are looking for a new book to read that is good for like spiritual enlightenment this is a good book to read and then here sitting i have this other little fake succulent moving on to my bed this is where my favorite parts of the day occur when i go to sleep and when i wake up now some of you guys are probably wondering one of your favorite parts of the day is waking up yes hello you get another chance at life another beautiful morning another opportunity to be great i don't see i don't see anything wrong my bedding itself i believe is from target if i'm not mistaken it's one of those reversible colored ones that's like one color on one side and another color on the other side so i have it on the gray side this very pillow here is from five below this pillow here is just a rectangle shape it is from the store at home which is the same store i got my floor plant from these two white fussy pillows here are from marshall's i believe and they came in a pack of two and then back here i have these two super big pillows i believe are called european pillows these are well the pillows on the inside are from marshall's but the pillow covers are from amazon and then the pillows behind are just the pillows that i used to sleep with these are just your standard pillows voila that is my bed on this wall here i still want to put something up i just don't know what this wall, I unfortunately can't put anything up because this is where I project my projector. So this is the only blank wall I have. But yeah, there you have it. This is the full view of my room. It's one last little overview. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos if you haven't already. By the way, I don't know about you guys, but can we bring shoutouts back in 2020? I feel like I did it for a while and it just fell off. Less and less people were commenting. But if you would like to be shouted out in a future video, go ahead and comment down below. Hashtag Naughty Gang. Make sure your notifications are turned on beforehand so I know that you're genuine and you're true. And we right here with it. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.